Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create different environments based on the need by using Admin Center. First, we will learn what is an environment. An environment is a place where we can store the flows, apps and business data. And also we can manage and share them across the organization. By using Admin Center, we can create environments in Power Automate. We can create separate environments to group the test and production versions of the flows or the applications. By using Admin Center, we can separate environments that correspond to the specific teams or departments in the organization. And also, we can separate the environments for different global branches of the organization. Now let me show you how we can go ahead and we can create different environments in Power Automate. If you see on my screen, I have logged in into india.flow.microsoft.com. If you see on my screen, I'm having environments on the top right hand side of my corner, right? You can see the environments over here. To manage these environments, right? Right now I'm in the default environment where I'm going to develop my development flows, right? To manage different different kind of environments, first we'll go to the admin center by clicking on the settings. And there you can find admin center over here. Click on that. It will navigate to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com slash environments. Over here, if you observe, in my environments, I don't have any environments over here. Let's assume if I want to work on the development or testing or production environments, in that case, we will create each and every environment based on our requirement or we'll maintain different versions of our flows based on our requirement. Right now, first let me show you how we will create different environments as part of the Power Automate. We'll click on plus icon over here, you can see, click on new. It will ask for the new environment. What is the name of the environment that you have to give? Let's assume I'm going to do for the testing purpose so that I will create test environment and then you can find different types of this environment you can create in sandbox you can create in production trial version as of now i don't have the access for these things first i'm going to create a trial version over there to make you understand and if you see the region i'm going to select local environments can provide quicker data access right now we are having different regions over here like united states europe asia and so on Right now, I'm going to select India as default over here. And the purpose of this environment for testing, I'm going to give it. All right. Now, if you see over here, to create a database for this environment, do you want to create any environment for this? Right now, I don't want to create any database for this. And this, I'm going to click on Save. It will take a little bit time to create a new environment. Once you create the environment successfully, you can see over here, I got the environment under the environments tab, all right? If you see right now, the trial version, I'm having 29 days and the state is ready and the region you can see India. So if you want to make this test environment as production, just select it and then you can convert that environment into production directly. Or else, if you want to delete this environment, just you can see, how we are going to manage by using delete button over here. You can simply delete the environment. And if you want to see the settings, if you want to see the, what kind of things that we have in this environment, just click on the environment over here. You can see the environment details over here. This is the type is trial and you can see the environment ID you can have over here. And also, if you see the re region, I'm having an India and the purpose is test. And you can see the resources over here, power apps, and after that you can add the flows. And if you want to add any kind of database, simply you can go ahead and you can click on add database even after creating the environment. You can just click on add database and you can see over here, it will give us the language and the currency reports will be used for the currency. And it will be enable dynamic 365. You can go ahead and you can enable it. Currently, for the tail version, you can't enable it. And then there's a security groups also, we can do that. Right now, I'm not going to discuss about the security groups right now. Let me click on cancel. 
Now let's switch back to Power Automate once again. Now when you click on the environments, you will find the default environment as well as which is just we have created another environment with the name of test environment. Now before that, what I will do before going to switch from one environment to another environment, let me show you something out here. So right now I'm in the default environment. Let's click on my flows and then just click on the desktop flows over here. You can see all kind of flows which we have created as part of the Power Automate desktop, right? Now what I will do, I will switch from one environment to another environment by using, by clicking on environments. Right now, let me click on test environment. Now what will happen if you see in my test environment, I have not created or imported any flows from one environment to another environment. Right now you can see over here, the, I'm in the test environment right now and you can see there is no flows has been created. Now in a such a way, you can go ahead and you can import or export the file, export the flows by using import and export flows. From there, you can go ahead and you can share the flows, you can monitor the flows. So, and also you can make them live from one environment to another environment in a such a way by making it as production. All right, I hope you understand how to create or how to manage different environments by using admin center. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment session. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.